Marilyn Addington suffered from congestive heart failure related to diabetes and received a new donor heart at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center on the 4th of July weekend a year and a half ago. To be able to, to walk and um, breathe and have um, a, an entirely different outlook is um, more than words can say. Today, doctors want to get a good look at Marilyn's new heart to see just how it's doing. We'll take real good care of you here, okay? Marilyn will undergo a cardiac or heart catheterization, but not in the traditional way. Doctors at UCLA are advancing the technique. Typically, cardiac catheterization procedures are done from the groin artery, the femoral artery. Uh, but more and more, we are doing procedures from the wrist artery called the radial artery. In this more advanced technique, Dr. Su threads a thin plastic catheter through the artery in Marilyn's wrist. A little bit of pressure now. And guides the tip into the major arteries of the heart to look for blockages in the arteries and measure heart function. The catheter's going in. Although the femoral artery is a bigger artery, um, there are complications associated with this access uh, route. Uh, there are bleeding complications. Uh, there can be injury to the artery. Those uh, complications are avoided with the wrist artery because the wrist artery is in a confined space and uh, bleeding occurs much less frequently. Ready to eject. Using a contrast dye and x-rays, cardiac catheterization provides an angiogram, a look inside the arteries of the heart. Millions of Americans have heart disease, and hundreds of thousands suffer heart attacks each year. This through-the-wrist technique can be used to diagnose and even treat those patients too, with common therapies like balloon angioplasty to open blocked arteries and mesh stents to keep them open. Transradial catheterization can be used in these patients uh, to effectively diagnose and treat coronary blockage. In fact, the latest studies show the survival rate for heart attack patients improved with treatment through this transradial or through the wrist approach. So, you did fantastic. Thank you. You guys were wonderful. And it's easier on the patients too. For patients, the main benefit is patient comfort. So Marilyn did fantastic. Um, she had her angiogram and uh, catheterization from the wrist artery. Uh, she recovered in the recovery room for about two hours. She was able to sit up and walk almost immediately after the procedure, and she did get discharged home the same day. Tests show Marilyn's donor heart is working perfectly. Oh, I'm going to do everything, and I'm going to do the good things twice. I just want to enjoy life.